When you come to any kind of organization, you are going to find some groups and these groups, they, the members of these groups need to communicate together somehow. And so in this video, we will talk about how do these groups uh, are formally organized in order to communicate effectively. And we are going to talk about three different kinds of uh, communication networks within the organizations. So it's going to be the chain. So we have a chain, then we have a wheel, and finally we have all channel communication network. And all these have certain characteristics or the criteria. And as you will see, it will be quite interesting to find out which one would be the most efficient for us. So let's start. We have the chain. So you can see that uh, the members within the chain communication network are really communicating one to another. And at least from my perspective, I always imagine it this way, that we have some uh, hierarchical levels. And this is an example of uh, three hierarchical levels within the organization. So that this would be the, uh, let's say, the frontline personnel, uh, the lowest hierarchical level. Then here we have the first line of the managers. And then maybe this is our CEO. So here we have first hierarchical level, second one and third one. Let's go to the second one wheel and we will get to the criteria and characteristics of these later. Within the wheel communication network, you can see that all of the group members are communicating with one. So this should be some sort of a leader. So this is a leader. So if we would again imagine uh, how many hierarchical levels here we can have, well, it seems like there will be only two of them. So uh, let me just draw a line over here. And this would be the first hierarchical level. And this would be the second one. And finally, when we have the all channel communication, you see that uh, the, all of the members are communicating with each other. So this is going to be some kind of a, some kind of a self-managed team. So this should be some sort of a self-managed, self-managed team. And as you will see, all of these have certain advantages when it comes to the communication. And it depends upon your choice. What criteria are important for you? So for instance, if a speed is important for you, well, you should then try to go for either the networks wheel or, or the all channel wheel. Because under chain, you really see that the communication is quite slow. If you care about the accuracy of the information, well, then you should go for the either the chain or the networks channel. And then when it comes to the emergence of leader, well, then you should definitely go for the networks wheel, which you can see the leader is the position or the emergence of the leader is really supported. And of course, under under the all channel, the, the, there is none because we know that self-managed teams basically work without the supervisors or uh, leaders within the team. Finally, there is the member satisfaction. Of course, the most satisfied are the team members going to be under the all channel because they are free to talk with anyone else. However, the least satisfaction is going to be under networks wheel because when you imagine if you are this member right over here, you have only one person for a communication. So that was the uh, various kinds of communication networks. So we had a chain, wheel and all channel. And the choice between these three is going to depend upon the criteria which is valuable for you. So either the speed, accuracy, emergence of a leader or member satisfaction. 